What's up, DP? I'm Brett. And I'm Carly. I hope you're all ready for a great show today. Because DP News starts now. Tomorrow, the CalArts College will be visiting in the library reading room at 9.50, and Chapman University will be visiting at 10.50. You can get a pass from your teacher if you want to learn more about these great schools. If you're intending on taking the Health Challenge exam, you can pick up your application in Mr. Woodard's office. The applications are due this Friday by 3 p.m., and the exam will take place on Wednesday, November 20th. The Santa Barbara International Marathon is this Saturday, November 9th. If you are interested in getting community service by cheering on the runners and handing them water, stop by the Career Center to sign up. This year's blood drive will be held on Thursday, November 19th in the CAF. If you're 16 years or older, you can pick up your permission slip in the Activities or Athletics Office. Sign up to donate blood online at dpnews.org or in the Athletics Office. Starting this Friday at 7 p.m., our Dos Polos Theater Company is presenting the Spoon River Project. You can get tickets from anyone in the theater or at the door to enjoy this totally interactive experience. Tickets are $8 for students and $12 for adults. cool car and want the opportunity to have it spotlighted in the yearbook, go to dpnews.org and look for the link. Speaking of the yearbook, Senior Baby Ad materials are due this Friday. For more information on how to upload or bring in your photos and pictures, visit dpyearbook.org. Well, that's all we have for your campus news today, DP. I'm Carly. And I'm Brett. Now over to Heather with that fabulous sports news. I'm Heather with sports. Girls Volleyball finished off their season last night, beating Ventura in our gym in four games. McKenna Goss led the team to, to win with 20 kills. The girls lost the first game but came back to win three straight, 25-20, 25-15, 26-24. The girls ended their season with a record of 3-5 in Channel League and 6-11 and overall. Today, girls tennis plays Calabasas for the first round of Team CIF at two on our home courts. So to watch some great competitive tennis, come up to watch the courts after school today. Good luck, girls. Football this Friday is away against Buena. Our boys enter the game 2-1, and one, tied for second place in Channel League with Buena. A win this Friday would pull them in a strong position and second place in league. That's all I have for sports. I'm Heather. Have a day-to-day -day DP.